Now, we need to multiply a two-digit number by a single-digit number using expanded column multiplication. So first, we have 63 times 7. We can write this question out with our two-digit number, so our larger number on top, and then our single-digit number below. Now here, we have two answer lines. That's because on this first answer line, we're going to multiply our ones digits, so multiply 3 by 7. Then, on this second answer line, we're going to multiply the 6 that's in our tens by 7. And finally, we're going to add up our answer lines to get our answer. So first, 3 times 7 is 21. And then, we can write a 0 in our ones digit of our second answer line. And that's because we're multiplying by the 6 that's in our tens. So now 6 times 7 is 42. And you'll notice 420 is the answer to 60 times 7. Because remember the 6 in 63 stands for 6 tens. So 60 and 60 times 7 is 420. So now we can add up our answer lines. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, and nothing plus 4 is 4. So our answer is 441. Now we have 76 times 9. So we can write the question out with our two-digit number on top. Now for this first answer line, we're going to multiply our ones digits, and 6 times 9 is 54. So now we can write a zero as the last digit of our second answer line, and that's because we're going to multiply this seven that's in our tens. Seven times nine is 63, so now we just add up our answer lines. Four plus zero is four, five plus three is eight, and nothing plus six is six. So our answer is 684. Now, 89 times six, on our first answer line, we need the answer to 9 times 6, so that's 54. Then we can write a 0 in our second answer line as our ones digit because we're going to multiply the 8 that's in our tens. 8 times 6 is 48, so now we can add up our answer lines. 4 plus 0 is 4, 5 plus 8 is 13, so 1, 3, and 1 plus 4 is 5. So we have 534. If we look back at this first question, we had 63, so that's 6 tens and 3 ones, and we were multiplying by 7. So we can show 63, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Now you can see that if we add up the ones, we have 21. And if we add up how many tens we have altogether, we have 42 tens, so that's 420. And putting it together gives us our answer, 441. Then we had 76 times 9. So we can show 76 as 7 tens and 6 ones. And we're multiplying by 9, so let's show that 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. Now you can see that we have 54 ones blocks and we have 63 tens blocks and 63 tens is the same as 630. So altogether we have 684. Then we had 89 so that's 8 tens and 9 ones and we were multiplying by 6 so let's show that 2, 3, 4, five, six times. On top here we have 54 ones counters and below we have our 48 tens counters so that's 480 and putting those together gives us 534 as our answer. We can also show multiplication using place value counters. So we start with 63 for this first question so six tens and three ones and to multiply by 7, we can show these place value counters 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Now we have 21 ones, but we can regroup those into 2 tens and 1 1. 
and we can regroup our tens as well. We can exchange 10 tens for 100. So that means altogether we now have four hundreds, four tens, and one one. So that's 441. Then we had 76, so seven tens and six ones, and we were multiplying by nine. So we can show what we have, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Now we can regroup our ones because 10 one counters has the same value as one ten. And now we can regroup our tens because if we have 10 tens, that's the same as 100. So now that we've regrouped as much as we can, we now have six hundreds, eight tens, and four ones. So that's 684. Our last question was 89, so eight tens and nine ones, and we were multiplying by six. So we can show what we have two, three, four, five, six times. Now we can regroup 10 ones for one ten, and we can regroup 10 tens for 100. So now that we've regrouped as much as we can, we can see that we have five hundreds, three tens, and four ones. So that's why our answer is 534.